Chapter 4. This chapter covers many important topics in regards to listening and interpersonal communication. It first starts off with the stages of listening. The first stage is receiving. When you receive from other person, you examine both verbal and nonverbal messages such as gestures, expressions, and so on. The next stage is understanding. This is important so that you know exactly what the speaker is talking about so that you can be helpful and provide good feedback. Following that is remembering. Remembering is an important key in the listening process. If you can't remember what the other person said, then the conversation is basically pointless. The fourth stage is evaluating. This is when you judge what the other person said. Try not to judge them wrongfully, though, until you fully understand the other person's point of view. The final stage is responding. Responding has two different parts. That is while the speaker is talking and when the speaker is done talking. Responding is basically giving them feedback, so be careful not to give the wrong impression while doing so. One area I thought was interesting in this chapter was the non-judgmental and critical listening part. When listening, it is so important to be very to not be judgmental. I think many times, though, we forget this and may give the wrong vibe. So it's important to keep an open mind and value their point of view. I think a lot of big problems occur because of how we respond to things. Many people think that their way is the only way to do things, and that is not true all the time. Many problems occur in big cities when people of a different culture mix with people of other cultures, especially in New York. After the whole 9-11 incident, a lot of Americans had pre-mixed feelings about people of a certain culture. It is important for us to give them respect and at least think about how they see things. In closing, I feel that we all need to pay close attention to how we interact with people on a daily basis. When we're in a business setting, I think it is more important to respond in a nice and polite manner and avoid being judgmental. My question is, how hard is it for you to not be judgmental while in a conversation with somebody you don't already know?